सो हेलो गाइज दिस इज़ माई इंटरव्यू विद कैप्टन नवीन डिसूजा फ्राम एंग्लो ईस्टर्न एंड इट वॉज टेकन ऑनलाइन सो फर्स्ट थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू टेल अबाउट कैप्टन नवीन डिसूजा इज दैट ही इज़ अ वेरी गुड कैप्टन ही लिसन टू यूर आंसर ही अनलाइक अदर एम एम डी सर्वेस ही दे हाउ दे रश अप ही डजेंट रश सो ही वेट हील कामली लिसन टू यूर आंसर्स सो फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट ही आंसर बिफोर डिपार्चर यू कैरी आउट चेक्स सो वट ऑल चेक्स यू डू and uh, so st- i started answering sir i'll have a pre departure checklist from as per which i'll start following my uh, checks like for example telegraph test telegraph test clock synchronization with engine room then steering gear test then okay so what do you do in steering gear test sir in steering gear test i'll try out the steerings one person will be stand by in the steering gear room will uh, repeat after me what on helms i'll uh, give from the bridge he'll answer in from the steering gear room that uh, the radar is actually following what helms i'm giving so i'll try out on both the motors and and both the system given in the uh, autopilot uh, or steering gear stand you as you say so so okay so how much uh, radar you try out so so from 35 degree to 30 degree uh, from one side to another within 28 second as per solas it should come so why not 35 to 35 sir because it is as per uh, solas and secondly there are chances that radar might get stuck so this is what i answered and this is what he basically wants to listen that this is as per solas that's why we try out from 35 degree one side to 30 degree on another side within 28 second the radar should follow so this is this is the main important thing he wants to ask in this departure checks so that is why he start asking you this question and then i didn't uh, went further so he switched to next question uh third question was so okay what is the time for emergency steering drill sir it is done three monthly okay so uh, what will you do in emergency steering drill fourth question so they said uh, sir we'll try out uh, the normal steering system on both the steering steering motors then we'll try out the nfu more nfu mode and uh, so so okay what what do you mean by nfu mode sir it is a non follow up mode means if you give 5 degree to starboard the rudder will go to 5 degree starboard but when we remove our hand from the knob of nfu the rudder will not come back to midship For, to come to make it come back to midship we have to give counter him so we give 5 degree to port and then the rudder will come to midship so this is how we do in non follow up mode okay so this is what he wanted to know so he said okay so okay what speed does the arpa work on sir arpa work on uh, speed through water so what speed that is log speed sir so why does it take log speed why not gps speed because sir arpa works on uh, log speed because our ror is based upon aspect of the vessel or we as we say heading of the vessel so that is why we take course through water so as you can see in this example also you, you can pause the video and you can read the whatever is given in this page as because speed through water does not include current so and you can see this situation how this situation will be seen a crossing situation if we include the course over ground if we include the speed over ground this situation will become a crossing situation in speed over ground if you use gps speed and in uh, normal log speed it will remain like this and it will be a head on situation so so we'll as per actually as per rule 14 we should comply with this rule 14 and we should take action as per rule 14 Okay, so what is Rule Nineteen talks about? So I told him about Rule Nineteen. Explain in your own words. So I started explaining him. Okay, you have you are on vessel. You have a st- vessel on your st- starboard quarter coming out. What action you will take, sir? First of all, determine the standard answer. Determine risk of collision exists. If risk if risk of collision exists, then I'll let her coast to port and keep well clear of that vessel. So that is as per Rule Nineteen, and that's all he wanted to ask. So okay, you are a deep draft vessel who can only fo- only follow a traffic suppression scheme lane, and a vessel is crossing from your starboard side. A powder vessel is crossing from your starboard side. So what action will take? So if uh, I'm a deep draft vessel, uh, then I'm if if the water around me is shallow, and then if I'm a CBD vessel, so constrained by draft, then it means I'm also a powder vessel. so i'll take a series of bearing a certain risk of collision exist if risk of collision exist then it is my responsibility so as per what rules so first of all we are in tss so rule 10 will apply but rule 10 it says that in rule 10 in traffic suppression scheme all normal rules apply so 
it means that if this is a crossing situation so rule 15 will apply now here and crossing situation state that a vessel which has other vessel on the starboard side shall keep out of the way so here it is my responsibility to keep out of the way of the other vessel so he asked how will you keep out of the way sir i'll as we as i already know that i am a deep draft vessel so i must be on maneuvering speed so i'll reduce my speed and uh, i'll let the vessel pass from my bow so that, that's all he wanted to know basically wanted to know that you know that in tss normal rules apply and it will be your responsibility to keep out of the way that's it. okay uh, what is do you do you know the color of the safe water boy so i said yes sir red and white stripes are there okay so where where it is placed means wh where will you find this boy so i answered uh, sir it is like a boy which is um, um, it is basically it is a landfall boy means uh, if we if we see the boy anytime this means that the land is somewhere in the vicinity first of all this is the indication then it is there where the water around me is navigable so this is what he wants you to know okay this is good then uh, 11th question what do you plot position from boy and beacon so i answered no yes sir from beacon we can plot the position and not from the boy why not from the boy so because boy can be drifted due to the bad weather or some other conditions and uh, that is why we never take positions from the boy they can drift okay so question 12 what is safety contour safety depth and shallow contour i've i've given the photo about i answered as for the photo so basically this is what he grills on he will ask you everything you your basic funda should be clear on this he, he wants to know that you know actually you know this or not so what is safety depth what is safety contour how do you calculate and uh, how you calculate shallow contour so i answered as per the page which is given above i answered as per that and he was satisfied with it and how do you, basically he want what he was asking how do you calculate i i told him that sir uh, in my company i have a passage plan sheet so once i put the values what what is my static draft and what is the catzog value and what is what uh, what is the speed i'm going through so that sheet calculates automatically so okay what how much you put for a safety depth safety contour and uh, shallow contour so this is what i answered as per this photograph about that uh, sa safety depth can be never less than our act actual static draft and uh, sh shallow contour is means like a grounding depth so if i any time enter uh, this depth will the ship will ship might aground so he asked about that what is ending anti grounding alarm and warning sir once we entered this is anti grounding basically wants you to know about that cone and that sector area so i answered that we have a anti grounding function means the cone is there so if we set the values uh, this is also given in my company how much value should be put into coastal waters and in open water is like this once my cone once the area of the cone when it touches the safety contour area it will given warning and so once it touches the shallow contour area it will give an alarm so this is what he wants you to know do you have any dry dog experience i said no so he said okay uh what is the duration of enclosed space drill i answered two months it was okay what is aio sir aio is an admiralty information overlay basically this is like a tnp which is given on uh, agdis so which this is a function given by agdis so okay how do you plot sir we plot it by manual updates uh with uh, and through manual updates uh, we apply this correction we apply what whatever tnp which are falling into our route so i switch on the ai layer i check what all uh, tnp are coming in my route and then i apply the manual updates over there okay so then then this is what he asked what next question question number 17 what are what or where you use the manual updates so i answered basically for this tnp corrections so when to call masters then i laid out those seven eight points that if any equipment failure if i am unable to maneuver as required by the rules if i land for if i see a land for a site uh, anything which is not given on the my charts then i call the masters any equipment failure like these things which are nonsense normally and rule 19 i have already told you that's all he wanted to know basically he wants you to know more about the safety contour safety depth and shallow contour you should be thorough with this this is what is very important to him you cannot make mistakes in this thing